Badak LNG plant is located at Bonta, East Kalimantan, Indonesia. Badak has taken very good lessons in April 1983 when one of their plan, which is train B, was exploded during restart up. This is the picture of Badak LNG plan in 1983. At that time, two train, which is train A and B, has been in operation since 1977. Another two train, train C and D, were just built. So 1980, in 1974, train A and train B were first built. And they were in operation starting 1977 and could go to the full production above the nameplate design capacity immediately after that. In 1980, train C and D were built and it started in operation in 1983. So it is the opportunity for train A and B to be shut down, scheduled shut down, which is every three years. Uh, it happened in 1983. And restart together, train A and train B, in April 1983. Where the unfortunate event happened. Train B, the main cryogenic heat exchanger, were exploded. This is the picture after the explosion. And you can see this is the main cryogenic heat exchangers photo after the incident. So what happened and why? The Badak LNG plant used high pressure gas for the frosting activities of the main cryogenic heat exchanger. The gas defrost pressure was 35 kilogram per centimeter square, while the main cryogenic heat exchanger shell design pressure only 10 kilogram per centimeter square. And the operators at that time forgot to open one of the manual valves outlet of the pressure control valve of the main cryogenic heat exchanger. Of course, this has caused the main cryogenic heat exchanger shell pressure increased above its design pressure and got exploded. Many casualties and fatalities. Even one people was reported his head, lose his head because of the flying metal, aluminum metal during the explosion. So ever since, Badak LNG has uh, run an investigation and conclude there are two main things they should take as a lesson. The first one, apparently that uh, they found for the defrosting activities, there was no formal procedures established. They only use personal notes, handwritten. There is no checklist procedure. 
there is no isolation list or blind list or take in take out system in place to ensure that all the blinds all the isolation valves which was put in place during the shutdown had been returned back to its normal position and ready for restart up so this is the first lesson learned ever since Badak LNG has always ensured that all their critical activities has been go through a formal review process approved by the competent uh, and by the management before the activities can be executed. The second lesson is the high pressure and low pressure interface were not well recognized by the people who are conducting the defrosting activities. So the lessons taken from this by Badak LNG plan, they need to make sure they maintaining competent operators and engineers. For that purpose, they, were, they hire hire uh, fresh graduates engineers in three batches and put them into a structured training program. They also put the operators in a structured training program to ensure their competence meeting the competency requirement for the job. Uh, journey of Badak LNG plan from 1983 to 2000. There are many plan expansions from four trains up to eight trains, from four LNG tanks to become six LNG tanks, from one loading docks to become three loading docks. All of them they can successfully done by ensuring all the lessons learned are always maintained. In 2000, Badak LNG plan is among the largest LNG plan in the world in a single place. They can produce up to more than 400 LNG shipments per year. Of course, at the expense of train B explosion in 1983, Therefore, hopefully, people who's watching this could take some lessons from what Badak LNG plan has experienced to avoid similar incidents happen in the industry. Thank you.